me, you know, I'm grateful that we're on the this side of it that we get to witness and have a backstage pass to the Miracle Show. You know, to help help them to feel their own worth and to see their path forward beyond drugs and alcohol or beyond uh, their limiting beliefs. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet what we do. I I absolutely love it. I think the first thing that led me to Jason was just his charisma. He honestly believes that addicts are some of the most loving and compassionate human beings on earth. I was in a bad spot. I was I was really in a lot of pain. I just told him what I was going through and you know, for the first time in my life, I, I felt like I was talking to somebody who wasn't judging me, who I could really be honest with, because I felt so much guilt and shame. Not only did he not judge me, but I felt like I was talking to somebody else who had walked in those shoes before and who knew the way out. Jason went through five inpatient facilities. When you talk about understanding the process of relapse and people struggling in early recovery, he is an example to that for us. One of his last facilities, their nightly rituals, was that they turned the song Brick House on very loudly and danced and sang and felt some joy. So when it was time to name his treatment facility, there was no other name for him. We help people not just getting clean and sober, but help them really find meaning and purpose in their life and really lasting change. The goal is to help them reconnect and reunite with their families and break free from the, the guilt and shame and, and the darkness that comes with addiction and active addiction. One of the things that Jason has continued to encourage me to do is be uncomfortable. And in that willingness to change and be uncomfortable, that's where my God-given talents are going to shine. And he continues to show me that when we are uncomfortable and when we grow and change, the sky is really the limit.